drop it. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you the use of the uh, switch statement, okay? Or switch case here. The switch case is somewhat like the same as the if, uh, else if statement, okay? But this is much faster as compared to the other one because it uses here constant. Now, the syntax is, we have switch followed by n. n here is the variable that we are testing, evaluating. Then it must be enclosed in an open and close curly brace here. Then case constant 1. Now, if it matches our first value, then we execute this statement here. This statement will be executed if, a, if it equals the value of n. Then after that, we have to issue here break. The purpose of the break uh, command is for us to exit the uh, block of code here. Otherwise, if we will not have this, it will not. Uh, it will move to the second uh, choice here. Now, case two, if this one uh, will be executed if equals n, then we have break. Then default if no other data matches the given case constant here, the default value will be executed. This is the same as the else statement in the if else program, okay? So let me show you the implementation of this one. So we had this earlier that computes for the, uh, let's say, sum product difference of two numbers. So we're going to have the same, but implement it using the switch case statement. So we have here our variable declaration wherein we have here character O for our operator and then float num1 num2 for the first and second number. Then the user would have to choose what operator he or she would like to uh, perform. Let's say addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Then after that, we're going to input two operands, which will be num1 and num2. Then we have here our switch statement. Switch O. O here is we are looking at the operators. So case plus, this is our constant value. So since we have here a character type, it's enclosed in single code. So if the user selects the plus sign, then we're going to get the sum of the numbers here. So we'll display the first uh, number plus the second number equals, and then we're going to solve or perform the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and then division. If the user decides to input other symbols aside from the given values here, the default statement will be triggered and then will be displayed here. Error operator is incorrect. And then after that, we also need to have a break statement for us to exit the uh, block of code here. Okay, so let's test our program. Let's run. Now here we're being prompted to enter the operator. So let's say we want to go with the addition symbol or addition to solve for the sum. So we have here plus enter. Then we enter two operands. Let's say 34 and then 12. Enter. Then the sum is 46. Okay, so we're able to compute for the sum of the numbers. Let's try our program again. This time, let's use multiplication. And then 34 and then 67. So what it does, it will check this. If the operator is equal to this one, so it's not, we move to the second one. It's not, then we proceed here. Then we compute for the product wherein we have num1. Uh, 34 for num1, 67 for num2, and then we multiply it here, enter. Then we have the answer here. So let's try another input that is not within the range. So let's say we have here this symbol here, enter. What happened? It will ask, still ask for the two operands here or the numbers, but it will not be able to compute for the more operation because the percent symbol does not exist within our 
choices so it will automatically go to the default which will display here error operator okay so this is the implementation of the switch statement hope you like the video thank you for watching bye